So what we need to do is keep mobile when we're at work. So when you look at any research, they tend to say for every 30 to 45 minutes at work, then you need to have five minutes movement. So what we're going to look at today is some exercises that you can do around your chair, all right, which will hopefully make you not look too silly in the uh, office, but then it's better to be mobile than uh, worrying about being silly. So one of the first stretches that we can do, again, is working on our hips. So we're just going to take the ankle and bring it over the knee slowly. Once we're into this position, we can apply a little bit of downward force onto the bent knee and you'll feel this stretch working from your hips down the outside of your thigh. You can then take your hand under the knee and slowly rotate away. And again, this will just help spur the stretch down the outside of the hip. So again, still using the chair, so we're looking at trying to lengthen these muscles that have become shortened through sitting. So this time we're going to try and stretch what we call the hip flexor, which runs down the front of our body. So we're going to place the knee onto the chair with our toes up onto the back of the seat. You can do this with an armrest as well if you wish. And all you're going to do is stand yourself up as straight and tall as you can and you'll feel that stretch running down the front of your body. Alongside stretching, then we also need to make sure we've got mobility in the joint, so the joints are moving. So again, some people don't like doing these exercises in the office because they do feel they look silly. So one of the things you can do is what we call an isometric squat. So you're going to push your heels into the floor as much as you can, as if you're about to stand up. So you, but you're not going to do the action of standing up. So you're pushing your feet down, all right, and you will feel the muscles contract up into your legs and up into your glute muscle, which is your bum. And this is just activating those muscles to make sure that we're using them. Because as we sat down, these muscles become inactive. So again, taking away, not being worried about looking silly in the office, because once one person starts doing it, it becomes common practice and everyone will do it. So we really need to have that mobility. So we stated the isometric squat that we could do and then how we can progress that is to the actual full squat itself so using the chair so you're just going to stand feet shoulder width apart you can bring your arms across your chest or have them out front in front of you and all you're going to do is gently lower yourself down so your bum touches the chair and back up again with the focus being your knees not coming over your toes so just down and back up So as we mentioned, uh, hip mobility, but then when we look at the upper body, then there's two straightforward exercises that we can do, again, to try and lengthen these muscles at the front of the chest, and also contract and keep working the muscles in the back of the shoulder. So very straightforward, we can have a chest stretch. So you place your arms back, clasp your hands together, and push your shoulders away from you. Alongside the stretch, then an exercise we can do to contract uh, the, shoulder, the muscles in the back of the shoulder, Again, what you're going to do is put your hands out in front of you, 90 degree bend, then you're just slowly going to pull your shoulder blades together and hold, and then release and come forward again. If you wish to gain any further information on the areas that have been discussed in this video, then by all means please come down and speak to any of the staff down here in the health and fitness labs.